What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making some absolutely adorable gingerbread people, perfect for a festive family treat. So to make your gingerbread biscuit dough, you will need 360 grams of plain flour, 180 grams of light muscovado sugar, 110 grams of chopped unsalted butter, one level teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, two level teaspoons, which is around seven grams of ground ginger. And because I really enjoy the flavor, I've also added in a little pinch of mixed spice. Between six and seven tablespoons of golden syrup, a large free range egg, and my little twist for this recipe is to add in some stem ginger syrup. First thing that we're going to do, as always, is to preheat our oven to 170 degrees Celsius, and that's in a fan oven. And I'm going to sieve through all of my dry ingredients. I'm also going to sieve through my sugar because I do find that there can be some lumps on occasion and it just makes sure that the mixture is nicely homogenous and there are no sticky, awkward lumps. Take your whisk and give everything a nice mix together. Next up, I'm going to add the butter to the bowl. I'm going to use the rubbing in method today as opposed to using my food processor. Now, absolutely go ahead and do that if it's what works for you. I just have a little bit more time today, so this method is the one that I have chosen. And all I'm going to do is rub in the butter with my fingertips until the mixture resembles fine breadcrumbs, almost like sand. And I would say this took me about 10 minutes. And at this point, I'm going to add in my whole egg and I'm going to eyeball three to four tablespoons of golden syrup to begin with. You may need more and about two tablespoons of my stem ginger syrup. Take a spatula and just start working that into the mixture. It does require a little bit of work and patience because it is a biscuit dough that is more on the dry side. But don't panic, take your time, keep working with it. If you feel like it is too dry, as I did, feel free to go ahead and add another tablespoon of golden syrup, another tablespoon of stem ginger syrup. It's entirely up to you, but what we want to do is get it to a point where it is sticky enough that we can combine it into a dough. Go ahead and make a fist shape with your hand and just start bringing it together the same way you would as if you were using a wooden spoon. And in no time, you will have a nice ball of dough, which we can just bring together gently by kneading in the bowl before we turn it out onto our work surface. Lightly flour your work surface with plain all-purpose flour and also flour your rolling pin. I'm going to finish kneading the dough lightly on the work surface. We're definitely not kneading this the same way as we need bread, but we do need to bring it together just a little bit more than we had in the bowl. I'm then going to divide the dough into two as it just makes it a little bit easier to work with. On your floured work surface, just bring the dough together into a nice ball. Take your rolling pin and start rolling away to your heart's content. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Roll forwards, roll backwards. The only thing that I would say is make sure that your work surface stays floured and ensure that you regularly check that your dough hasn't stuck to the work surface. And you're rolling the dough out to about a half a centimeter thick. We are making gingerbread people today, but if you have any shaped cookie cutter at home, that will do the job just as well. So to make cutting out your gingerbread people a little bit easier, dunk your cutter into some flour. It just stops the cutter itself sticking to the biscuit dough. Cut out as many individual biscuits from one sheet as you possibly can. And I find the easiest way to release your gingerbread people from your countertop is to actually peel back the excess first. And to make sure that you don't tear your gingerbread, just use your palette knife or a butter knife to gently work them away from the work surface. Today I'm using a silicone mat, but you can use any kind of baking sheet that you have at home with some greaseproof paper if that works for you. And I'm going to bake my larger biscuits in my preheated oven for about 10 to 12 minutes until they are lightly golden brown, a little bit darker in color. And while they are baking, I'm going to go ahead and roll out my second piece of dough. This time I'm going to make some smaller gingerbread biscuits in the exact same way as before, but this time I'm going to bake them at 170 degrees for about nine minutes. 12 minutes have passed. We have some amazing gingerbread people ready and waiting to be eaten, but I'm going to be really good today. I'm going to resist temptation and I'm going to let them cool completely on a wire rack before decorating. 
and you can see there when they cool that you get that lovely snap but you have that amazing fudgy gingerbread center inside. Get creative with your decoration and enjoy. Guys, that brings me to the end of today's recipe video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my zero waste baking videos. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you back on my channel very soon. Bye.